Hi everyone. I am on the highway heading south on 55 from St. Louis toward Camp Five Pond Trailhead in the Irish wilderness. We're going to hike White's Creek Trail and uh, we're going to try to get to a place called Bliss Spring today to camp for tonight and tomorrow night. My son and I are excited, looking forward to a great weekend. We uh, put together our packs and our food and water. We have everything we need and we probably have more than what we need. But it should be a fun weekend and uh, we will keep you updated uh, through the process. Wilderness, Mark Twain National Forest. This is Camp Five Pond. Trailhead to White's Creek Hiking Trail. Here we are at Camp 5 Pond. Trailhead to White's Creek Trail. We just pulled in just now and we're going to have a little bit of lunch and then the beginning of our weekend adventure. Talk to you soon. This is what we wake up to this morning. The fire is just about to kick up. Sleeping arrangement last night. Thermarest pad inside of an outdoor research bivy bag, alpine bivy. Underneath a 5x7 Bushcraft USA must tarp. And our insulation on top of us was a Kefaro or Kefaro Dubi, the double thick wooby that Kefaro sells. We are at the old homestead. At Bliss Spring 
campground or just near Bliss Spring. Where it dumps into the 11 Point River. And it is a glorious morning. Going to explore all around us today a bit. I had a great night's sleep. Saw a monster deer run through our campground this morning. I took that as my clue to get up. A friend in the morning. We're going to go up this stream to the source, which is Bliss Spring, and get some water. This is so cool. I really just want to stay here forever. Who would notice? Here we are at Bliss Spring. We're going to get some cold, clear water for our morning coffee. Absolutely gorgeous. Moss covered rocks. I love the sound that water makes as it's coming out of the earth. Flows down to meet up with the 11 Point River. Just about a quarter mile away. Is it cold? It's about. Wait, no, yeah, it's very, very cold. Little gravity filter set up. Dirty water bag, section of plastic tube to our Sawyer Mini, down into the Nalgene. coffee and carry it down to the river for the lunch. Set and watch the water. Better than watching TV. Dan, can you describe this weekend in a couple of words? Tranquil. Hard. Really fun. 
make it really, really worthwhile to do the hike and everything. You know, we have a hard hike out tomorrow. trip report. I came back to Bliss Spring for lunch with my son and um, just want to say that this has been one of the hardest and one of the most fantastic trips I've ever been on. The 8.6 miles to our campsite seemed like 86 miles but once we got here it's been nothing but fantastic and perfect. And it's about 2.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. We've got dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow, then we're going to pack up and head back. That hike is pretty hard, so we're probably going to break it up into two or three legs tomorrow. At any rate, um, I know that I've had a great time. The weather has been perfect. The scenery has been astounding. And I'd recommend anyone that's considering doing Irish wilderness to come on down and check it out. It is a fantastic hike. Uh, lots of great places for hammock camping. Not a whole lot of places for tent camping because the soil is rocky and hilly. But we were able to find a spot that was pretty good. So uh, it can be found from time to time, from, from place to place. Uh, at any rate, I think if I came back, um, I would shed probably half of my poundage of gear. My 35 pound pack felt like 350 pounds. And um, while I thought I was coming light, I had way too much stuff. So that's a lesson learned. Uh, we have lots of food. We have a great source of water here in the spring. Um, and we're going to enjoy the rest of today and wake up early tomorrow morning and uh, do the dreaded hike, but it's going to be the bookend of a fantastic weekend. So, hope you get a chance to come out here to Irish Wilderness and check it out. Traditional bushcraft, trail snack, coffee in an Ollie Camp aluminum cup. And Oreos. Some of the equipment that got used this weekend. Adventure Sworn Bucksaw. Adventure Sworn Mountaineer and Matching Fire Steel. Swiss Army Knife Farmer. And H and K Compact 40. Some equipment got used more than other equipment, but it was nice to have along, even if it was heavy. Also, the small and large, or the 1.8 liter and 1.1 liter Morse pots were along on this trip. 
the big one had a brand new cozy that I made for it three days ago. Grancer's Brooks small four stacks. And somebody or others manufactured leather gloves. Those leather gloves sure do come in handy. Probably my favorite thing to have with me. One thing we tried to do differently this time is stuffed our Neo Air uh, inflatable mats inside an Outdoor Research Alpine bivy, and then a lightweight blanket. And uh, this time we used the Kifaru Duby, which we weren't sure how warm this setup would be, but it ended up being too warm almost. Um, we had a bunch of condensation on the inside of our bivy sack. And so tonight, for the second night, we're going to do the mat and just the doobie. Um, we, what we did on the bottom of the doobie is took a little piece of paracord and sewed up a kind of a partial foot box. Um, after we got in, we maybe had cold feet for 30 minutes or so, but since we both had on stocking caps, after the first 30 minutes, we were both pretty toasty. Now, tonight it's supposed to be down into the low 40s, so we're going to dispense with the Alpine bivvies and probably um, eliminate those from our pack considerations unless it gets down really cold um, for upper 30s, maybe even mid to upper 30s. Uh, the doobie, I think, is plenty warm, at least it is for me. It's about 7.30 a.m. Sunday morning. Getting ready to say goodbye to our view of the river. Our campground. And that's the way home. It's always sad when you have to break down camp. What? But it's always nice when you have a teenage boy to do most of the work for you. You're doing a great job, buddy.